Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you how I made this vending machine. I know, I know. I think we've been talking about it on Instagram for like a month, but the video is finally here. I'm going to go through step by step how I put it together. So the first step is to grab a cardboard box. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big. It's rectangular, which is what you want. You want that vending machine kind of look. And I started to cut a square here. This is where we're going to display our squishies. And in the back, I have started to trim these flaps because we need this to be able to come in and out. And the bottom one, I cut it halfway because we also need the same effect for the bottom. So other details that we need to worry about are the coin slot and I pretty much just grabbed an exacto knife and just eyeballed uh, the coin slot. Here is where we're going to put our screw and little butterfly thing to be able to turn the squishies and here's where we're going to get our squishies out there. For the next part we're going to use a small water bottle. It doesn't have to be small, it can be any size and you can just resize it. I'm actually going to have to resize this one anyway. Um, but this is going to make a rotation device where the squish is going to fall in and then going to fall out. The first step is going to be to remove the paper. Try not to smush it too horrible like I'm doing. And I kind of eyeballed mine and I know that I have to remove probably about one of these stripes off. So be careful with scissors and just go in, make an incision and cut around it. Then we're going to make a space big enough for the squishy to fall in and out. So for the next part, just glue the two pieces together uh, with a little bit of hot glue. Remember, if you're smaller and you are working with hot glue, please be careful because it burns a lot. Yes, it's gold because I'm feeling fabulous. And just hold it in place until it attaches. So after you've cut and paste, make sure that you also make the hole large enough in the bottom section. Um, you have to measure with your squishies to make sure that they will be able to come in and out easily, but not that too many will come out in and out easily, just one at a time. For the next part, we're going to take the cap. And with our glue gun, because I don't like drilling or hammering things, we're just going to take the tip of it while it's hot and make a small hole. This is where the screw is going to go in and out of. Once you have the hole made, put a screw through it. Make sure that your screw will fit your other piece. Now, if you can't find this one, I know that the hardware stores have many different little butterfly things, I don't know what they're called, um, that you can use. So make sure that it's the right screw for your fit. Now we have all the parts and we can put it together. So now we are ready to assemble our dispenser and you kind of have to choose the look for it i wanted something different i wanted kind of something like patterned um and i knew that with paint it was one gonna take me forever to do and two it was gonna take a little while to dry and i'm really impatient so what i did is i picked out uh, gift wrapping paper and i'm going to use that to cover it 
So for you to have an idea of how you're going to assemble it, put all your pieces in place. Now there's where the knob is going to go. I'm gonna use this here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to glue this so that it stays in place and it helps the sides also stay more together. So as you can see, we have glued this on and then we put a little piece of support here with the remaining cardboard just to give it stability. This baby is not going nowhere. As you can see, this will be where the squishies fall in and it will rotate to drop them here while you will get them out. So with clear wrap, we're going to cut a window and tip it down. This will make it seem like it has a screen. Okay, so just a quick recap of what we've done already. Um, we've already put the film that's gonna serve as the screen. This is pretty much cellophane, just clear cellophane, uh, and it simulates the window. Here is the coins, um, where the coins are gonna go in through. Here, I put two little sticks as a reference so that when you put in the little box that is going to collect your coins, you kind of just have a reference. You don't have to do this, but you know, it helps. And now we're going to put the actual knob mechanism per se. And we have to add the butterfly to the other side. Okay, so when you lined it up in the back, you have to make sure that you hold it in place and you should be able to see the screw coming out, kind of like peeking through on the other side. Now, just for your reference, I went ahead and painted the knob purple because I wanted it to really pop and I wasn't really too happy with black and then now we're just gonna screw it in place once it's tight enough you'll see that the whole mechanism turns pretty much turning on its own so we're gonna do a test run and we're gonna turn it I placed a squishy right here and our little cubby whole thing and I'm gonna turn it and you can see how it's going to fall and you can just pick it up and it's a blush bun squishy so cute it's low rising okay so as you can see um, there's a lot of squishies that are gonna go into the machine obviously you see different sizes and these are like jumbo but as the squishies came in for the giveaway i kind of ran out of room of where to put them so i'm just gonna stick all of them in there all right so it is here standing up already fully functional see all the squishies are in there there's over a hundred and i think 15 squishies in here um so yeah let's try it again and this time we got a Rilakkuma is so cute! And there you have it! So I am kind of standing next to it so that you guys can see in comparison what the size is. I think I went a little bit overboard, but yeah, it turned out pretty gigantic. And that's how we put this together. As you saw, it was pretty simple and it took only a couple hours and that's with the recording and everything, so it takes even less. I think we can marathon it and probably put it together in like two hours, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try that in the next vending machine that I make. Now, these here are my own personal squishies that I wanted to share with you guys. I love the kawaii little things here. Uh, Gurutama, who doesn't love Gurutama? And this is one of my favorites. It's like a cream puff and it's so squishy and it's so slow rising. Who doesn't love squishies, right? If you love squishies, please comment below. Um, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, we are going to be giving away 100 squishies to one of our subscribers. And pretty much all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment on this video, and follow me on Instagram so that I can message you. Thank you guys so much for watching.